That seems to be the ideal one, right? But uh, let's try the other ones first. <laughs> That's just pissing it off even more. Yo, right, everybody, we are here today checking out a little post apocalyptic banger by the name of Rapella Fella. This bad boy here takes place in post apocalyptic Australia. Uh, but Falcon, I thought Australia was ready to post apocalypse. <laughs> I, I, I thought the same thing as well. Look, Aussie bros, I'm just joking around. It could be worse, it could be the US, so it's, it's always that. That said, this game does indeed take place in a post-apocalyptic Australia, but more importantly, this also happens to have a little bit of a connection to a very wholesome game series called The Ray Flash Game Series. I believe there's three of them in total. Now, they were very edgy, very gruesome, very bloody, but I mean, all Flash games in the early 2000s were. And they kind of utilized this entire, like, South Park look to the game itself. Very interesting times back then, but this is actually from the same developer that so, in many ways, it's going to be a spiritual sequel. For most people, the end of the world wasn't quite what they'd expected it to be. Nobody could have predicted what was in store for us. But what is the end of the world anyway? Is it the end of life as we know it? Is it the end of life itself? Can the world truly end if there's someone left to tell the tale? Now, where shall I begin? How about with a fella I once knew? I think his name was... Ah. Oh. Ah, his name isn't important. Anyway, his story begins back in... Ah. Oh. Ah, well, at this point, let's just say it was a while ago. There he was, after a long hard day of work, hungry for some dinner. Ah, oh, I'm starving. Okay, so 1968 Australia is the year. Seems like someone had a bit too much to drink. That's true. It's like a war veteran or what? He's missing an arm here. A lot of drinking going on. It's a thong. I think Americans call them flip-flops. <laughs> flip-flops. Oh, oh, how cute. Oh, I mean, a thong is what is what goes up the crack. Let me see that thong. Looks like he's busy. I should ring the bell. What the hell is it done? Toilets here? that way. Oh, toilets. Alright. I'm gonna learn about Australia here today. We got dunnies, we got thongs, which are flip-flops. Be with you shortly. Just let me get this in the oven. Yeah, not a bad deal. There. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad, thanks, mate. What can I get you? Uh, just give me the special. Too easy. Seven dollars. It's a pretty Jeez. good price for what you're getting, huh? Uh, hey, uh, while you're waiting, can you do us a favour and grab my car keys? I dropped them in the drain over there on my way in tonight. Fucking sausage fingers over here. What? <laughs> Go to the drain and get your car keys? You imagine going to like a restaurant, you order like a steak and a glass of wine, the waiter comes up, he's like, oh, I'm take your order, that's what you want, good, hey, perfect. Hey, by the way, um, I'm about to like clock out like in five minutes. Can I give you the car keys to my car and you just go out there and just, you know, just heat it up? You know, it's a cold day. I want to get the engine a bit warm. Ah, there's some sort of lock on it. Uh, I can't reach him. Thankfully, he remembered there were some lock picks back near the gate where he first entered. Now, now I got to lock pick the freaking train gate as well. This is a lot harder than you made it sound, buddy. Let me tell you, I came here to eat, not to do some chores for you. Like I'm over here. You better give me that food for free, by the way. Might be able to use these on that drain over there. Might use this later. Okay. Tutorial lock picking. Nah, we'll figure it out, Doug. I see. He's got to find the order. Okay. Aha. How'd you go? Yeah, not a problem. Here they are. Thanks. I appreciate it. Your order's ready. See you next time, eh? Now it was time to go home. See you, mate. Oi, 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 oi! Hey, can you, can you spare some change? The fella blocking his path looked like some kind of homeless war veteran. He undeniably smelled like one. Um, give him some change, no. Offer him a beer. Seems like he's had enough. I guess that's fine, I suppose. Put him back to sleep. What does that mean? Maybe 
sing a lullaby to him or what? Rock him a little bit? Oh, maybe let's let's rock the baby. Uh, to sleep. You, I can't. <laughs> Get a fucking oh. job. And oh, with that, no. he got back in his ute and he headed home. What followed was a recurring, well, you'll see. I feel bad if he's really a war veteran. Anything? <sighs> Nothing. We're too far down. Doesn't help that I can't see for shit. How's that? I told you. There's too much ground above us. Ah, <sighs> all right, all right. Let's just, uh, let's just go for it then. Down there? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not letting that little prick get away. Not after what he's done. Give it to the rats. They live for this shit. Ah, uh, by the time they get here, he'll be bloody miles away. Just stay here. I'll go. You've lost your bloody marbles. Can't say I would have disagreed with him. Mm-hmm. On the location, so we get a little bit of a backstory for our... our fella, I guess. I shouldn't talk any more than I need to. I can't go back now. It's just a light. It turns a makeshift light on. A green-looking leaf. Oh, I can't make any sense of it. Well, luckily for you guys, I'm well-versed in his language. What does that mean? Oh, I mean, I know how to read. I just don't know what it says, but read it I can do. He caught this one off guard. Very fortunate. Oh, okay. <laughs> it seems like no matter what we choose here, as I almost die laughing, is um, we're going to take this man's life. But I mean, come on, Red. Come on, right? <laughs> that ought to be fun. Okay. It's a pretty large rock. It's pitch black down here without those. It seems we could pick this. Oh, I wonder if there's like a trap there. Uh, you know what? Let's see if um this might might be a trap. But um if it kills us, it's fine. We have a checkpoint anyway. Oh, that it did. Ah, uh, wait a minute. That's that's not what happened. Uh, let me think. Well, that would have fucking hurt. Yeah, uh. bloody well would have. Oh, is it hurt? Oh no! Hey, get down, get! Oh, oh god, his face is gone. Oh, speaking of traps, another one coming up. Let's take it. Oh god, it bent him backwards. Uh, actually, uh, that's not right. Uh, here's what he really did. What do we got here? Must have had some bloody sharp eyes on him back then. Should be safe now. It's just a light. Uh, no! Sticks out like dog's balls. No! Fuck knows what that was hooked up to. Go back. No! I, I, I didn't think it would be like, you know, the pick thing. I thought it'd just be like the eyeball thing. I... Just click without really processing what I saw with my own eyeballs. Oh, we've been set on a dead scene. Well, look, this is a demo that's available to you guys too, so it gives you guys an incentive to download it for yourself and check out the choices I didn't make. You know, so I'm at the start too with the old man, right? Ah, got you now, you backstabbing fuck. Are you sure that's him? That didn't sound like, you know, male muffled voices. I mean, maybe he's got a high voice, fuck. I guess you're right. Bust in and shoot him. Go crazy with your knife. Toss a grenade inside. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I'm sorry to say, you know. One. I'm gonna go grenade two, happy with this game. Three. Four. <gasps> <gasps> what did I tell you? That wasn't the dude! Christ, not again. No wonder he's got PTSD. Blew up a room full of children and women. 
Despite all the pills, grog and nasty takeaway food, he couldn't shake the nightmares. It was then that fate came calling. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, is this, um, repeller fella? <clears throat> That's me. Yeah, good. Listen, mate, there's a wild pig on the loose. It's run into my shop and it's kicking shit up all over the place. Can you come out and give us a hand? Uh, I don't know. It's pretty late. Late? What's late got to do with it? Listen, mate, if I go in there, it'll take me bloody head off. Just, uh... Leave the door open. It'll run out eventually. Oh yeah, and then what, what if it comes back? You're an exterminator, aren't you? What, what, what's the matter with you? You know, there's a call-out fee. L listen, mate, just just get your ass out of here, okay? Butterworths. You know where that is? Yeah, I know. Oh, bloody chop chop, man. See you soon. Elsewhere. Пока продолжаем полет на малой высоте. Так точно. Я не могу поверить, как далеко нам удалось продвинуться. Никто и не поверит, не отвлекайся. Как мы будем с этим жить? Не дергайся, мы же говорили об этом. Иди назад, я справлюсь тут сам. Ah, start, you bastard! Three minutes to the goal. I start a rescue number at the top. Главное, мне надо подготовить две боеголовки. And so there he was, off his chops, annoyed, and behind the wheel, hurtling ever closer to the inevitable. Hello? Hello? I'm here for the pig. This just in. One of the stolen aircrafts has reportedly been shot down south of Sydney. The plane is said to have... Knock, knock. Ah, shit. Через минуту мы будем над целью. Почти готово. Открываю бомбалек. Даже если нас... Нас сейчас собьют, одна уже готова. Well, I mean, if I shoot everyone on board, what if I can't fly the plane myself? I imagine it probably could. What if not? What if I shoot the only guy? The plane's still gonna go down. Bomb's still there. Take out the guys and arm the bomb then. Yes, right. Nope. Oh. <laughs> you, you don't want to know. Oh! Yeah, nah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. I'm not touching him. His fucking guts are hanging out. How far away are you? What's that siren for? Hello? Ah, <sighs> now, where's that pig? Well, that's interesting, because the second uh, fuse hasn't apparently been triggered, right? Still blinking. All right. Well, uh, we're here to hunt piggies. Quite a vicious one, too, considering what it did to this man right here. Oh, two by four. I really don't want to enter a dark room with a murderous pig. Yeah, I know. We're here already, so I really go. don't want to enter a dark room with a murderous pig. You want a light? Is that what it is? Fine. Turn the light on. Big baby. I won't use this later. Wooden board. Two by four. I'm just turning to hacksaw Jim Duggan right now. Nothing happens. Blood. It's true. Guts? Defenseless. Didn't no. stand a chance. Very angry pig. Maybe I should follow this procedure. Activate terminal. Release valve lock. Operate a valve. Load passenger. Seems very simple. Gotta activate the terminal before we crank you. Someone's in trouble. Brother, door's been left open. Unlocked for the second time this month. It's not storeroom. Stop leaving random shit in here. Need another reminder as to why this is so important. It happens again. I take your key away. You find the next note pinned to your head. Door should remain locked at all times. Is that an accent attempt, Falcon? Yes. 
What accent was it? I don't know. <laughs> it was just an accent. I don't even know the origin of it. Use this later. Spatula. All right, we have a two by four. We have a spatula. Are you the terminal? Yes, sir. A mini tape. A mini tape. I have a mini tape. It won't work without a tape. Who's got a mini tape? You have a mini tape? Oh. Oh, so now I could, uh, so I couldn't do that before. Now we can. Prod his hands to see what's there. Ugh. Sorry, mate. <laughs> the spatula. Oh, there's a tape. Valve unlocked. All right. Surprised that we haven't seen that pig. His foots. Oh, wait a minute. His footsteps are actually still kind of visible through here, here. Did he go inside? Oh, that's the reason why he had to tape that. He locked the pig inside. Oh. Okay, so we're not out of the woods yet. Yo, you might want to peek in there and like blat him from above, dude. I wonder what's down. Ah! Ah! Oh shit. Well, there it is. Looks like it's stuck. Yeah, lucky for us, huh? That's one angry Pumba. So let's see, we could smack him with a wooden board. We could try shooting it or use a spatula. I mean, that seems to be the ideal one, right? But uh, let's try the other ones first. <laughs> That's just pissing it off even more. You agreed. Spatula? Give him the old whacking. I mean, put a Absolutely little bit of effort pointless. into it. <laughs> Alright, fine. Fine! I mean, you are a murderer, pal. Ah, oh, bugger. I only had one round. I'm out of options. I should try something else. What? You only had one round. And who puts it in his shoulder? I mean, he's a, he's a, literally a target of something. Even I, who have never shot a gun in my life, I'm pretty sure if you, you put a target in front of me that doesn't move and I'm literally point blank, I could hit him right there in the square middle of the forehead. And then the pig was dead. Yeah, I'd say he's dead. All right, buddy. You don't mind? I need to go down there, maybe. Because the bomb's about All to right. drop. I just got the call. Are you in there? Hello? He's, uh, what's happening out there? I don't know who you are, but you better not get into that bloody capsule. The for anyone's in one. Hello? Hello? What the hell is going on? Threat detected. Lockdown procedure initialized. Threat? For your safety, please board the capsule immediately. I've got to get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, Barry's uh, spilling his guts out somewhere, my friend. Oh, ugly for us. Fuck, 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 fuck. Home sweet home. <sighs> Hello? Barrier activated. Welcome to the GARN emergency shelter system. We are sorry to hear about the undefined event. As per transaction 190909, we have provided provisions for your mandatory stay of 15 years. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay in the revolutionary GARN emergency shelter system. In this place, time passed by differently. Seven times faster to be exact. He's still aged, but his passage through time was considerably swift. What do we have here? Is this thing on? Oh, too many buttons. Oh, I think that's it. <clears throat> How's it going, old friend? Listen, mate, I figured it'd be best if I didn't put this in writing. Everything should be good to go. And I just wanted to let you know that they managed to slot the uh, semi-stasis field into your retreat. I'm no technician, 
but I've been led to believe that time will function differently in this little capsule compared to the outside world. That is to say, if it works. For all I know, it'll turn you into a fucking hot dog. Anyhow, I've got my own nest to get sorted. Won't be as fancy as this, but it'll do the job. Scary days ahead. See ya, mate. Yeah, it's a good thing he was prepared. <laughs> Dan, if it does quite a bit. I guess this flushes the toilet. Dunny roll. A drain. It looks like a spool of some kind. Skills for living. All right, 1909, your mandatory stay of 15 years requires you to experimental undertake experimental training. training. Oh, this sounds insane. No, oh, all right. So we actually get stats in this game, too. Um, you know, I mean, I gotta be a strength boy, can I? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna be sturdy strength boy. Two what computers else? in one day. All right. It's a bed. That it is. This is where food comes out. It's marked emergency exit. Uh, I don't want to go outside considering uh, God knows how deep in the water we are. Uh Are they all the same or rim jams? Yoink! Oh, you got the hammer, but not the rim jam. Oh my! Little uh, little fellatio magazine, apparently. <laughs> I'm sure that's not what it was, but I mean, come on. I don't know what most of this is, and who paid for it? Eh, kind of expensive. How's this? That's enough questions for now. Who are you? So. Who am I talking to here? Hello, I am a G-A-R-N A-I. My primary function is to help visitors with my state-of-the-art introspection module. Meaning, beyond what I have already told you, I can only answer a question with a question. That, uh... <laughs> that's not gonna give me any answers, though. Literally. What happens if I break you? Just out of curiosity. What would happen if I smashed this box into a thousand little pieces? Why would you risk damaging my systems? Can you live without a supply of oxygen? Would you like to live in darkness for 15 years? I'd probably do with the darkness, but the oxygen thing might be a problem, so yeah, I guess... For that reason, I will leave you be. Yeah, what happened tonight? Do you have any idea what's happening up there? How can I be sure? Am I not down here? God, I, he's not gonna answer anything, because he can't. I'm gonna sleep. Did nothing it was for at me. this point that he felt comfortable with his new lodgings. He decided to call it a day. Little did he know how much would change from this point on. See that? That's that strength module working out. Be able to lift that eventually. Oh, don't drink that. It's like prison. It's gonna come out a big, big, giant oh, butt stud. Oh, we got it. I'm an Adonis now. Life-preserving systems have been depleted. Please prepare to leave the capsule at once. Uh oh. Warning. Oh yo. The capsule will begin flooding in 60 seconds. Please vacate immediately. Is that a is that a giant platypus? Australia. Post-apocalyptic Australia doesn't mess around, dude. I'm telling you. 15 years later? No, it's 105 years later. What's it looking like now? Oh no, you can't! Oh, you can't even give us a peek. It's a little, a little small gander. No. There it is. One person doing illustrations, animation, storyboards, character design, direction, writing, story scripts, gameplay mechanics, everything. One person, solo project. 
And as I've mentioned, a spiritual sequel to the Ray Flash game of series. So as I mentioned uh, earlier, there is going to be a link in this video. You can check out this demo, which I'm playing myself here. Check out the other choices, see what changes. But uh, definitely one that I'm kind of intrigued by. Curious to see where it goes. So if you guys did enjoy, let me know in the comments when the full game is out. We'll definitely come back and take a little peek at it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.